What's up, guys? That Neon Show here again. And you guys might ask me, Joe, what are you doing? Why is all this stuff all over the place again? You just cleaned the garage not too long ago. Why is it a mess again? I got me some ideas, but honestly, I really don't know what I'm doing. So, bear with me. Believe in me. And maybe we can get something done. So, actually, what I want to do is I want to build a shelf right here. I moved the shit that was over here out of the way, which was these three condensers that I'm probably never going to use. So, I think we're just going to scrap those, get some money for them. I might have a couple more of them. I'll have to go look. But we slid this thing over because this is Alan's and this is still his garage. So, I got to respect it. So, I keep his shit where it is. I just move it. So right here, we're going to, I slid his little cage over, we're going to clean that out, we're going to put his wheels that we took out of here, down there, and my buddy JR, shout out to JR, Jay Fraser on Instagram, he's going to uh, donate a piece of plywood or two for the sandblasting booth, and he said he has some pretty thick shit, so that would be nice, so he'll be able to use that, you know, if he needs to sandblast or powder coat something, um, which is pretty cool, he came down to check out the 240, you know, he's a 240 guy. He's JDM Honda 240s. But anyways, besides that point, we are, well, I am. I'm going to build a shelf right here for my, uh, my powder coating booth. So that's why I moved that over. I'm going to screw this board here where I'm going to cut it and have a nice little right-way shelf. I want to think I'm going to do it like that, but we're just like, as always, we're going to do everything with a Sawzall because, you know, whatever. And then we're going to pull the powder coating box out, and we're going to set it up right here so it looks nice and professional and good. And i got to see how much room I need and how I want it to sit. i got to run my wires and shit up through, so... Yeah, let me get this box of stuff out of here, get it over here, and see how I want to set this shit up. So, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so i got my powder coat out right here, and i got my powder coating system out right here. I'm going to open it up, unbox it. We've already done an unboxing on this sure um, yeah I'll be right back today we are going to do an unboxing a re-unboxing -un because we've already unboxed and opened it I just don't think I did an unboxing video so here today we have our Harbor Freight Chicago electric tools which is Harbor Freight brand powder coating system so this I do like this powder coated system. It turned out to be a pretty nice gun. We've already tried it. But um, the item number is 94244. Powder coating is tougher than conventional paint. It's easy to use and easy to clean up. And it covers better. The system provides a minimum of 80% transfer efficiency. A quarter inch national pipe NPS, I think. Air inlet and a 10 to 30 PSI input air pressure. It includes application gun unit, 6 feet, 120 volt, 15 amp cord, 8 feet lead with a ground clamp, remote activation switch, which is the pedal, 10 foot lead, 8 foot high voltage gun power lead, and disposable moisture separator, which is this right here. So we're gonna open it up. When you open this up, it will come with two empty containers for the gun that fit the gun. Which is very important. It comes with some extra tips, an extra fuse for the uh, machine in case the fuse is the pop, and an extra O-ring. Here's your moisture separator, and here is your quarter inch MPS thing. Um, you pull your gun out, here's what the gun looks like. It's orange, has this cap that screws on these empty containers. This one's a, just a powder coat container. Um, there is a stainless tube that comes out of here with a stainless nipple right here with an air hole in it. Um, I've heard on YouTube that people cut this off and do some modifications to make this work better, but um, with my experience of it, it was pretty nice, and it worked great for me. So, I don't know what their problems were with it. Mine covered great. So, now that you remove that piece of styrofoam, you will have your second layer, which comes with your powder coating box, your power cord, 
the cord for the gun, which is here, and the cord for the pedal, and the ground clamp cord. All very nice length. We're going to pull this out of here and we'll be right back. Now that we have our system out of the box, here is our powder coating system box. You can see it has a nice on and off power button. Also has a a light for the power to let you know that it's on and a light that lets you know that it's spraying. The uh, the lead for the, the gun is pretty long so you can place your box somewhere and not have to worry about it being right beside your system. So I'm going to have my shelf down here and my power coating box is up there. Same with the pedal. You can have your pedal down on the floor instead of right up by the box or right up by the powder coating system. You have a very long ground clamp and a pretty decently long power cable. Hopefully our power cable stretches up there. If not, I'll just bring down a power bar. But, very happy with this setup. It has a high and low um, nozzle right here on the gun itself, which is nice. Actually, it says max and max, but whatever. And I was very happy with this gun. Um, so that's just a little unboxing of it. Um, if you want to watch a video of how it works, I have a video. Um, I'll try to put it in the description. If not, it's like down in my videos. You can find it. It's under tool reviews in that playlist. Very nice uh, powder coating system. I do suggest it for a good first uh, powder coating system if you're trying to learn how to powder coat. It's a great starter kit. And uh, my experience with it was always great. And it sat for a year. So, really good system. So, Alright, now that we got it unboxed and out of the box, so here's our powder coating system. Um, I'm going to have it set up about here. Um, I carried it up here, but I'll do it again. So... I was thinking, you know, I could have it up tight and nice and then it'd be out of the way. But I want to have like a shelf to where I can actually put stuff on behind it like the powder coat. Um, so I'm going to put it like right here. So I made myself a little mark right there. Um, I'm just going to do this the completely lazy way because I'm not going to put too heavy of stuff on there. I'm just going to screw two I four straight to there and then screw a piece of plywood to the top of it and call it a day because I don't feel like spending too much time on it. So I've already preset my screws in there. Bam. Got them at an angle. So they're not perfect, but like I said, this is not got to be perfect. So I'm going to screw it up in there. See if we can find a spot to set you up real quick. See. I didn't even mess with this shit, so probably going to be crooked split. But Putting too much weight on there, anyways. Think about sticking one up through the bottom, too. So I'll be back once I get that one on the bottom. All right, now I got two screws in the back. Bang, bang. Now I'm gonna cut me a little piece, stick it on there, have it come out about here. Good. All right, guys, we cut it off there with our saws all. Turned out to be like perfect. So, yeah, now we just gotta screw it down to that with two or three screws, and we'll be done. So, be back in just a second. Got our screws preset. Now we're gonna screw them in. I got some more too. Be back. Alright, so we got those in there. They're nice and countersinked. So they're not gonna stick up. I gotta turn this a little bit of extra wood off. I'm happy. Put some weight on there. It ain't going anywhere. Not that I'm putting 50 pounds on it, but let's set our powder coating sprayer up and Mm -hmm. 
maybe I can find a way to strap that thing down to where it won't move. So, you know, like a strap to hold it down to the table itself. I got some shit in stack in there, like an idiot. I'm not gonna transfer doing that. I hate stacking shit in places that don't need it. This is great. So the only thing I'm gonna leave up there. It just makes sense. Yeah, you know, I'm untying this. I'm gonna wire up in there so I probably have three some screws or something to hold this up. I guess I got some uh, hangers. I'll hang on those. I do want to run my wire up too. So it's not all in the way and shit. Our foot pedal here, we're going to untangle her up next. Untie the foot pedal. Run our foot pedal down to the floor. Like so. Probably just stick it up in here, like on this thing. Probably screw this thing down. Let's see how that works. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw that pedal, that piece of wood right there and use that. Let's screw that down real quick. Screw that and screw it. these two. I'm not putting too much pressure on this side. Let's put two starter screws in there first. After I get one in there, bro. Now let's untangle this and tie this ground cord. And we're gonna wrap it up around there. I think I'm gonna send it through that hole up there. We'll see how long this is first. Pretty freaking long if I don't say so myself. I'll run it up behind it. Up through the back. Up through here. pulled up through. You see it's nice and neatly up there now. Yeah, it stretches all the way over here. I don't think I need any more ground than that. Now I just need to build a rack for my uh, my thing to hold on to. Just like a little thing that I can hang it on right there. I have a box of them. We're going to get one out real quick. Got my pedal set up. I'm thinking I'm going to put a screw in right here to hold my box from moving around. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Pretty stoked. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm done. I got the box screwed down. I don't know where I left off. I got the pedal screwed down. It's nice and working. Not moving anywhere. I can stand here and hit that as many times as I want. It's not going to break. I got my shelf screwed up for my power cutting gun to sit on. That way, whenever time I'm done with it, it's set like that. I ain't gotta worry about falling. 
or breaking or getting hurt up. Got my ground ran in. I can ground it wherever I want. I just have it hanging over here so it's up and out of the way. I'm happy with it, dude. Got this box of rinse that's trying to kill me. My step stool right there so I can step up in. Next for the power sandblaster in me. So then when I'm done with it, I just pull this thing down. It's covered up. I have something out of mine. I'm using it. I can wrap it up any way I want. I can wrap it just halfway like this. Or farther. But I'm definitely happy with it. So that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, as always, remember to leave a thumbs up. Got any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section. If you didn't subscribe, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next time. Follow all the links in the description uh, for Instagram and Facebook. And we'll see you next time. Peace.